frogs are disgusting. They're slimy, they stick, and they just move weird. Try not to laugh with this story. This is serious. I'm taking a shower, and right when I'm about to grab my body gel, I see an enormous, no wait, a gigantic, no, no, wait, 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 a humongous pale frog looking straight at me with this palpitating throat and everything. Perhaps you would have seen a frog, but I saw a monster. In fact, it had horns and fire coming out of its nose. I almost fell when I jerked my body backwards and jumped out of the shower. But the monster kept looking at me as if saying, what's wrong with this idiot? I jumped out of the shower, past my wife who was looking at me weird as well, and I went to my other bathroom. As I'm finishing my shower, I'm analyzing the whole situation. How did the frog get there? It's a three-story house and the bathroom has no holes in the walls. It had to have happened in one of two ways. Either the frog climbed all the way up to the third floor, very unlikely, or the frog traveled all the way from the septic tank, through the pipes, out of the toilet, and into the bathtub. And that would mean I have to sit on the toilet and worry about a killing monster dragging me down through the piping and into the darkness where all the other monsters eat people. So I started analyzing how I was gonna trap this bad boy and take it out of our house. I anticipated the frog's every single move. If I grabbed it from behind, most probably it was going to try and jump forward to get away. If I tried to grab it from the front, it might jump to the wall or jump straight out my face. Even when I was disgusted, I knew this was my chance to overcome my fear. It was a chance to do it, even when I felt uncomfortable. I planned everything. I even called my best friend, who happens to be an encyclopedia of knowledge, to find out if the beast was poisonous. I was ready to bring down the ogre and never have to be disgusted of a frog again. I grabbed the container in one hand and my success magazine in the other, and I looked at the beast from the left and then from the right. And I froze. I couldn't do it. I can cold call anyone, I can introduce myself to anybody, I can speak on stage to the masses, I can get inside an octagon and battle it out with an opponent, and I can drop from a 12 foot high half pipe in my inline skates, but I cannot get a frog out of my bathtub. Maybe if I had the peace of mind that the frog came from a pet shop and it was fed by humans, I probably would have done it. But this frog came from the abyss of hell. Do you know what I did? I went to my neighbor's house and brought my nothing but muscle Hawaiian friend, Kamalu. Embarrassed out of my mind, Kamalu went in and grabbed the frog like it was a tiny lizard, making me look exactly how I looked. Ridiculous. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mijo, you're such a chicken. No. A chicken would have probably devoured this amphibian. I am more of a dog scared of a cat, which is a lot worse. Similar to this. As we walked out of the house, Kamalu tells me about his new ventures and how he's planning on growing his business. And at the same time, he has Kermit in one hand and I'm looking at him and at his hand every two seconds thinking, Kamalu, if you can just drop the frog, I can pay a lot more attention to you. He finishes telling me about his events and says, are you sure you don't want this? Referring to the frog in his hand. And we both bust out laughing, good times. After telling my friends all about it and finding out that my friend's wives would have grabbed the frog with their bare hands, I realize I've lost all my farm skills from being such a city boy. But also I came to the conclusion that and it all comes down to this. The more you analyze what you have to do, the more you plan, the more you wait, the more you complicate it, and the more you get yourself ready to do something you say you will do, the more you will never get to do it. Sometimes, as a matter of fact, a lot of times, you have to come in like Kamalo did it and do it without even thinking about it. Grab Kermit by the neck and show him who's boss. Fortunately for me, it happened with a frog. But you might blow off a huge opportunity that can drastically change your life by thinking about it too much, analyzing it, waiting to be an expert before you do it, or plan for it forever and never have the guts to get it done.